Okay. Welcome to another voice recording. All right, before I start, um I remember um I got a message from um Winston Wu, the founder of Happier Broad. Um he sent me a message I think on Facebook or on this YouTube channel on one of the videos on this channel and he left a message and said this what happened to your channel I didn't know what he meant by that but um what happened to my channel um I guess um he's been watching my videos and saw that you know I'm I'm going away from his messages um, of of the happier abroad philosophy. I still believe in the happier abroad philosophy, and I do. You know, um, I just want to do something different. So, you know, you know, I haven't been viewing um, Winston Wu's um, videos on his YouTube channel. You know, I think I still sub to him and I and I do. So, you know, um, if he's watching, you know, um, I want to hear from him, you know, on why he, he asked the question, what happened to your channel? So, you know, if he's watching, um, I just want him to tell me what he meant by that or just hit me up on Facebook Well, okay, enough of that. Um, in this video, I want to talk about Canada. That's right, Canada. That country that's just north of the U.S., America's northern neighbor, um, I went to that country in 2013 on a cruise to Alaska and Canada. Um, how did I went? How did I wound up in Canada? It was like this: um, got on a cruise ship in Seattle, Washington. Sailed from there to Juneau and Skagway in Alaska. Then. We yeah, went up north to, to past Canada to Alaska, Juneau and Skagway, which is, well, the, Alaska is the U.S. anyway. So after that, went south to Victoria on Vancouver Island, which is the provincial capital of, of British Columbia. Went to, went to Victoria, you know, I was just... Blown away just how gorgeous um, Victoria is. Um, it's a it's a very nice city, a very beautiful city. Um, rode some buses around the city. Went to souvenir shops. Um, met some wonderful people there. Um, I was I was I went there with my mom, my dad, and. And my sister, um, I did something very disrespectful there. We all did something disrespectful there. Um, we laughed at a woman and her friend in a horse-drawn carriage. You know, kind of laughed at that like it was funny. But, you know, I look back on that. That wasn't a really good thing to do. I was insulting the culture there. So, saw the es Espresso Hotel, the harbor where, where the ships were at um went by the um bc um, um parliament buildings very big very nice and saw the um statue of um of queen victoria which the city of victoria got its name from so yeah um, 
but you know, um, Canada, um, you know, um, I'm going to talk about this, uh, Canada, um, this country, um, will I be happy living in that country? Absolutely not. Um, I'm probably going to be miserable there because, you know, Canada just, it shares the same culture and with the U.S. because, you know, Canadian culture and American culture. I'm going to say Canada and the U.S., they have so much in common. Um, people in both countries, they drive the same cars. Um, they listen to the, They listen to the same music. Um, you know, watch the same movies, same TV shows. So, um, you know, there's a lot of Americans who are ignorant of the country, thinking that um, Canadians um, live in igloos and they ride dog sleds. You know, they don't have highways, they don't have cars. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, just complete ignorance from some Americans about Canada. But, you know, I've been to the country. They have roads there. Um, they have roads. They live in houses. Apartments are flats. You know, <laughs> so... Yeah, so, so, you know, um, okay, um, what can I say about this country, um, will I, will I be happy there, um, not really, because, you know, um, the people, some of the people, not all of them, um, they're very, um, they're very, Passive aggressive, ice cold, antisocial. Um, some of the some of the Canadians they don't want to be bothered. If you if you go and talk to them, they don't want to be bothered. And um, Americans, some Americans think that Canadians are 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 nice. Well. They're nice because, you know, they have a government in their country that cares about them. But, say, but you know, saying that all Canadians are nice is like saying that, you know, um, people in Japan know, all know karate. That's not, and that's not the case, really. Not all people in Canada are nice. Not all Canadians are warm, friendly, polite people. And they're not. Some, are, some of them are, some of them aren't. There's some mean Canadians there. Um, I watched a segment on the um, this show called... Uh, what's this show called? Uh, the Fifth Estate, I don't remember what the name of this show is. It, it's on the CBC. I watched it on YouTube. And um, there was this guy, I think I said this in a previous video that I did about Canada. There was this guy that um, said something said something racist to this to this woman who, does, who, who was doing an experiment on racism in Canada. And she pretended to be Muslim. And um, this was in Toronto, Toronto, and this guy, some some guy walked up and said this to this woman, who was like, he was just asking for this woman who was asking for donations. Um, she was doing an experiment, seeing how racist the country is. Okay, some random guy on the street. Okay, he comes up and says this. Uh, Do you think I'm gonna give you money? So you can blow me up? You think I'm going to give you money? Not a fucking chance. And I think before this, um, 
Some people gave money and others just walked by and just ignored the whole, just ignored the woman. And when this guy was in some racist guy, another racist guy was giving this woman crap because she was Muslim. She was doing an experiment to, to see how racist Canada is. This was shocking. A lot of people just walked by and just ignored this poor woman. But luckily, like two people, a man and a woman comes up, and a woman, the woman um stopped this man from berating the the woman who was Muslim and said this um stop it. If you don't stop this, I'm gonna call the police. So, you know, um there's good and bad in Canada, just like just like in other countries, you know. And uh, and this is messed up. Um, you know, um, a street preacher in Toronto was 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 doing his street preaching, and some woman some woman with bright red hair and she wore eyeglasses. Her name is Shanty Biggs. And she just, it was a, she just berated this preacher who was black. And she said this, we, we don't, we're not going to appreciate you uh, doing what you're doing. We don't, I don't, you don't need to go around and spread your Jesus, Jesus shit. And um, I think this, I think this preacher was, was at this gay pride parade in Toronto. And Shanty Biggs was giving giving this black preacher crap and the black preacher was pretty cool about it it didn't let him it didn't bother him you know i'm against people who who are religious who go around and force their religious beliefs on people but you know the guy who's religious you know he has the right to say what he wants to say you know and shanty biggs and and people like her in toronto try to shut this guy down you know and I think at the end, I think this was on a YouTube video, and at the end, um, some some gay guy, some transgender person, went and spit on the preacher. That's disgusting, right there. You know, I'm gonna say this. You know, I'm, you know, what the preacher did. You know, and he was forcing his religious beliefs on people. You know, that's wrong. But you know, he has the right to say what he want to say. And, you know, people like Shanty Biggs, you know, and gay pride parade people don't have the right to, to shut this guy up and and spit on him. You know, that's just wrong. Um, and another thing I saw in Canada on YouTube, um, a girl at a college somewhere in, somewhere in Toronto um Toronto I'm gonna say Toronto um this is messed up uh it was a guy who was wearing a a trump a red trump hat that says um make America great again and <laughs> and um and this is wrong um this girl told this guy that he has to take the hat off because the hat is bad and it represents Trump. And, you know, she's trying to force this guy to take take the hat off. And, like, she can't do that. That's not right. Like, I don't like Trump and I don't care for Trump. But I'm not going to make someone who, who likes Trump, who wears a, who wears a Trump hat, I'm not going to make that person take that hat off because that's not right. You know, and this woman kept this girl kept harassing this poor guy and his and his friend because this guy wore a Trump hat, and they got and him and his friend got fed up and said, "This is ridiculous. Let's get out of here." Yeah, you know, um, yeah, and um, in Canada, um. 
had um did this thing where um people in the country um you know liberal left people um wanted to keep Rouge V out of Canada and Rouge V went to Canada and the and the people in the people in Canada gave Rouge V crap um um a, a French Canadian woman um poured beer all over um Rouge V and her and her and these men and these women were taunting him and you know, Rouge V had a bodyguard. You know, I don't like Rouge V. He's crap. He's garbage. Um, they followed him around some city, I think in Montreal or Montreal, Montreal in French. Oh, my French isn't that great. Um, they followed him. They followed this guy around, gave him crap, and um, told him to get the fuck out. And he got and Rouge V got to this hotel. He had a bodyguard with him. He got to the hotel and um and one of the girls said, Eat my cunt. Fuck you and all this crap. It was brutal. And it was. So what else about Canada? Um Yeah. Um, now um you know, there's some things I like about Canada. There's some things I don't like about it, you know. Okay, yeah. But, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't hate the country. You know, I got people who left comments on videos that I did about Canada. They're, they're on this channel. And they tell me, oh, oh, the airports and are crumbling and, and. And you you're gonna get you yeah you're gonna get universal health care but you're gonna be paying out of the ass for taxes and all this crap. Yeah, this is what this is what I think about universal health care. Yeah, it's free to the point of service and it's paid for through taxes. Yeah, it's free because you know you don't have to pay a lot you know the you have to pay out of pocket like you do for, do here in the US for health services but you're going to pay for it through your taxes and yes the taxes are high yes everything's expensive yeah because of that well if you don't raise taxes on that health care it, it's not going to function and furthermore um yeah speaking of health care you know in Canada you know um, s some parts of the health care in that country, you know, in, in a province called um Saskatchewan, um, the health care is well, is kind of privatized. And I just heard about um, um, heard from um, the premier of Ontario, um, Doug Ford. Doug Ford um wants to implement a an American style healthcare system in the Ontario province. You got all these conservative premiers from other provinces who who agree with Doug Ford and want to implement an American style healthcare system. And you got Doug Ford saying that oh the we oh the status quo isn't working. You know, I heard that Canada has wait time issues the wait times are pretty bad i think in british columbia the health the wait times are pretty bad well some god wow um trying to think here yeah the health care well i'm gonna, I'm gonna say that the health care isn't fully universal um yeah the wait times are bad because you know they the health care isn't funded. It isn't funded because, you know, the liberal government isn't funding the isn't interested in is isn't interested in funding the system. Um there's some missing pieces to the health care, like um, you know, dental vision, hearing aids, mental health, pharma care, isn't it isn't 
included into the system. So those things are left out on the system, and then you got um, the yeah, then you got um, the wait time problems. Then you got lack of doctors and nurses, and you got doctors and nurses aren't being paid enough, and in some parts of Canada, the nurses and the and the doctors are going on strike. Yeah, I've been watching what's going on in Canada on YouTube, on places like CTV, Global News, and the CBC or the CBC, the National. So yeah, um, yeah, I've been watching what's going on up there in Canada. Yeah, I got people caught. Con- Sending comments to me on YouTube telling me, oh, you don't know what's going on in Canada. And they tell me what's going on in Canada. And they're telling me, they're basically t- telling me something that I already know. You got Canadians telling me what's going on in the country. And they're basically telling me something I already know. And it's ridiculous, you know. They're just a bunch of bots, you know. If I respond to them, they'll never respond back to me. So I'm just going to ignore those people. So, you know, what what can I say about Canada's universal health care system? Well, it needs to be funded. Um, you need to you need to put in um dental vision, hearing aids, mental health, pharma care. You need to, you need to add that into the system. Um raise the pay for doctors and nurses. Um bring in more doctors and nurses, nurses. Bring in more nurses and doctors. Um um improve the wait time issue you know speaking of that um i heard about an, an elderly couple well a man an old an, an old man um who's trying to get health services and his wife is helping him and there was no luck for them um doctors didn't want to see him see him see the husband so it's pretty difficult, but you know, yeah. So, also, um, yeah, the um, also I want to talk about the Freedom Convoy, um, back in back in the winter of of twenty twenty two this year. Wow, um, <laughs> yeah, the Freedom Convoy was kind of ridiculous. It was kind of silly. It was, you know, it was just, it started out as a bunch, some truckers who, some of them were vaccinated, some of, some of them weren't vaccinated due to COVID-19. The ones who aren't vaccinated, the ones who aren't vaccinated, I think, um, complain about, um, they complain about they don't like the rules, you know, like, you know, going to going to the US to deliver their freight and coming back to Canada. They had to self quarantine. A lot of them said they didn't like that. It didn't make any sense. And it went from that to like this convoy of, you know, not just truckers, just a bunch of like right wing alt right like people who are racist and full of hate, something like that. Um right wing conservative you know um a um, bunch of people and you know just a tiny fraction of people a bunch of people in um pickup trucks and cars you know they they all went to ottawa and they crippled ottawa and um they paralyzed the city by blocking roadways in the city you know honking their horns truckers are revving up engines and revving up their engines um in semis and people revving up their engines and and car and cars and pickup trucks and honking horns and some of them were doing this tried to make Justin Trudeau the prime minister of Canada and the and the leader of the liberals to step down as prime minister and saying that hint saying that Justin Trudeau and Jup Me Seen are in this are into are are together in this scheme of um 
forcing vaccines on Canadians or something like that. And they're screaming about freedom. We don't have no freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. And you guys got freedom. You guys got the freedom to to do the crazy stuff that you're doing. And I'm also on Parliament Hill doing the doing the paralyzing of Ottawa. Um, people around Parliament Hill like have having barbecue grills, um, cooking hot dogs and hamburgers and playing music and having jungle gyms for for children to play in and um you know inflated castles for children to play in um kids playing hockey in the streets it was just like a it was just basically a circus you know and someone said that oh we as canadians we're we're like we're like standing up becoming a real country and all of this yeah, and, you know, and also um, someone defaced a, a statue of Terry Fox, the runner who lost his leg during from a disease. He had a fake artificial leg, and he ran across Canada, and he had a fake prosthetic leg. And someone def people were defacing the statue of Terry Fox, and um, and defacing a, a war memorial around um parliament hill you know and i saw that and um a lot of um a lot of mps in parliament hill i think not the i think the liberal pms not the conservative pms i think were complaining about what the um freedom people the freedom convoy were doing you know one mp saying that we we gotta like we're here to do the work for the people we got people just disrupting everything in par disrupting everything in Ottawa. This needs to stop. Yeah, I think Justin Trudeau was talking about it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. What do I think about Canada? Canada, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario. Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. What do I think about this entire country? Um as 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 you know, as what I said in this, um I think it's not a country that I should be should move to and live there. Cuz you know, I live there. I'm I'm going to be miserable there because you know just how some of the people are there. Some of the people are ice cold and antisocial and passive aggressive. You know. You know, it doesn't matter what part of Canada that I live in, I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to be lonely, like I hear, like I am here in the U.S. Because you know, Canada shares the same thing that the U.S.A. has. You know, you know, ice cold, antisocial people who don't want to be, who want to be left alone in their own bubbles. They don't want to talk to anybody. They just want to be left alone. You know, and there's there's someone from Canada who told me, oh, um, I mean, why are you bashing Canada? I mean, you, Canada and the people. I mean, I mean, you're gonna be getting. A, I mean, you could be getting a. I mean, you'd be getting a. a or you know, you're gonna be end up marrying a, marrying a Canadian woman out of this. I don't know. Um, marrying a a Canadian woman. Hmm. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, some of the women in Canada are in Canada are gorgeous and beautiful. Some of them, not all of them. Um. You know, um. Uh, Kyla Lee, the um, the the attorney, who's half Mati and half French. Um, she's a, she's one of the she's one of the First Nation people. 
Uh, she's a lawyer in um, Vancouver. Yeah, I looked at her, you know, she's kind of cute, you know. I like her short haircut. It makes her look cute looking. She's adorable. Yeah, I kind of like her, but, you know, um, I don't know. She has a sense of humor. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to be happy, you know, you know, if I... If she's my girlfriend or wife, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to judge someone based on their looks. I'm going to just judge them for who they are on the inside, not what they look like on the outside. And yeah, you know, just racism in Canada, you know, it's, yeah, I'm kind of disgusted on um the abuse some um, First Nation children went through, you know, with the boarding schools in British Columbia and other parts of Canada. Um, children were being abused and mistreated and, you know, and it was disgusting and it kind of made me, made me sick to my stomach, you know. And, you know, and I got a friend who, who lives in Canada, you know, he's, he's talked about this and he's kind of disgusted about this. And he said, oh, Canada has this going on and they try to hide it. You know, and hiding it, it just makes me even more sicker because that's just sick and that's just wrong. You know, first Na how First Nation children are being treated and being murdered. It's just it's just disgusting. And it is. You know, um, can't, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, Canada have some negative things, but, you know, um, overall, you know, Canada is a very beautiful country and it is, you know, um, you know, you know, um, they have the metric system. Um, I, I understand the metric system. So, you know. If I live in that country, I won't have any problems, you know, with metric, you know, kilometers, you know, liters, centimeters, something, something degrees Celsius, you know. Yeah, you know, and also before I end this voice recording, um. I'm looking at Judd Meek Singh, um, the leader of the NDP, the leader of the NDP, the New Democratic Party, and do I think um, Judd Meek Judd Meek Singh deserves to be Prime Minister of Canada? Long answer: Yes. Short answer: No. But you know, I think that Judd Meek Singh. Des deserve to be Prime Minister of Canada and I think his his NDP New Democratic Party should be the governing party in Parliament and Judd Singh should be Prime Minister he deserves to be Prime Minister because he's talking about things that and doing things that Justin Trudeau and the conservatives have no interest in doing. You know, Judd Me Singh, you know, he has problems. You know, he's he's not fighting hard enough on the issues for everyday Canadians. And I think he should fight harder. You know, and I think he should be prime minister. You know, he deserves it. You know, and Justin Trudeau doesn't deserve to be prime minister. And he has no business being prime minister, you know, because, you know, he's an, he's an inexperienced um, guy who was once a drama teacher, you know, and he did blackface, you know, when he was younger. So, you know, that was kind of racist, you know, and he apologized for it, you know, and then you got the English and French divide, you know. The English speakers hate the French speakers, you know. And you got Quebec, the province of Quebec, that won't that try to break away from Canada and, and become a and become a nation, you know. Looking at Quebec, you know, um, 
Quebec has the resources of has the resources and in the DNA to become um become a nation. Something the state of Texas here in the U.S. lacks. <laughs> so, um, Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada, why are you the way you are? You know, should I move? Should I move to this country? No. I'll visit Canada, but I'm not going to live there. You know. But, you know, look at it. Um, if my ancestors um, went with Harriet Tubman, Tubman, um, went with Harriet Tubman um, through the Underground Railroad from the southern U.S. all the way to the northern U.S. and Canada, you know, if one, if they end up going to Canada, you know, if that happened, uh, you know, uh, if my mother and my father's um, ancestors went with Harriet Tubman through the Underground Railroad and ended up in Canada, um, I'll be living in, in Canada today. I'll be Canadian. I'll be living in either um, Ontario or Nova Scotia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably living with where my um friend is living at, um Mississauga. So, uh uh <laughs> And you know, I'll probably be as passive aggressive and as miserable in that country, you know. <laughs> you know, there's that saying, um, you know, moving to Canada will make much difference. You'll be you're gonna be as miserable as I am. Yeah, so Canada, love it or leave it, you know. I'm not gonna live in that country, you know, just seeing how how things are there, seeing how the people are there. It's not a country that's worth moving to. You know, you got Ryan Reynolds who made a video on YouTube telling Americans, oh, stop talking about you're going to move to Canada because you're not going to move there. You know, I'm not a friend of I'm not a fan of Ryan Reynolds. He starred in some movies, you know. I, I got nothing against Ryan Rental, Reynolds, but, you know. He's a Canadian of Scottish descent, you know. I got nothing against him. Or what he says, you know, I have no interest in moving to that country. Okay, um This was the most racist thing I ever saw in Canada. And this is this happened in British Columbia. Okay, it was this guy from some country, I think India. And he was like taking pictures in some neighborhood somewhere in some city in, in British Columbia. And some guy, some white guy in a pickup truck comes driving by him. He gets out of his truck and says this. Are you Canadian? How did you get in Canada? You need to go back where you came from. And he walked up to this guy and spit in the guy's um, camera when, when the guy was filming him spitting in the camera then he then the, yeah, the guy who spit in, in the guy's um camera phone he gets okay the racist guy gets back in his pickup truck he's racist the guy that asked him how did you get yeah the guy that asked this guy from india or another country asked him how did he get into the country after he spit in his phone while filming him Recording him on his smartphone. The guy who did the spitting got back in his pickup truck and hold his arm up in the air and said this white power, white power, white power. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so.
So I think yeah, after he did that, I think the the authorities caught up to him and arrested him. So you know, racism in Canada, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like polite racism. Case in point with this racist MP from Quebec in in Parliament Hill, I think in the House of Commons or the Senate chamber. Um, Je, I mean, not Jugmeet Singh, the leader, the Jugmeet Singh, the leader of the um, NDP, called it out. He called it out in French, and said this in French. It's true. He's being racist. He said some racist, and he called him out. And in Parliament, um, they made Jugmeet Singh apologize to the racist MP. And booting them out of parliament. And a racist MP, like, th th that's so messed up. Like, like, oh, like, you know, and yeah, um, Jug me, you know, like, Jug me seeing, seeing it shouldn't be booted out, booted out of parliament. He should stay there because he's doing the right thing. He called out racism, he did the right thing. It's the MP. Who said the racist? Who was saying the racist stuff? He should apologize. He should be. He should be booted out of parliament. So that's kind of messed up, you know. And yeah, I know that Canadians said this. Oh, when all, all the black people in America doing doing the doing ra doing the slave days of slavery. They escaped to Canada with Harriet Tubman, and a lot of them didn't stay. And they all didn't stay. They all went. They all left. They didn't stay in Canada. They left. Well, some stayed, some left. You know, and the black people who live in Canada. They're basically people of um, um, Caribbean um, descent, Jamaican descent. Um, some are descendants of African American slaves that escaped the U.S. during the slavery days. They left for freedom, and I heard this from some French black female singer in, in France about Harriet Tubman. She said that Harriet Tubman, she was tough, but she had seizures, so Harriet Tubman had health issues, so. That caught me by surprise by hearing that. I saw some more videos about Canada. I saw more videos about Canada. Three of them to be exact. Okay, the first one is... Okay, this gay pride parade in Toronto. In Toronto. Toronto or Toronto. I'm going to say Toronto. Can't pronounce the name of that city. Okay, at this gay pride parade in Toronto, in Ontario, um, you know, people were having fun and all, and and come to find out, um, they didn't want no one to take pictures of them. So you can't film anybody with the camera option on your smartphone, or the um, or you can't take a picture of them with 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 the um camera option on your smartphone <clears throat> can't do that so I'm looking at this I'm saying to myself okay you guys don't want no one filming you or taking a picture of you with the um, camera option on on people on people's smartphones I mean what do you guys got to hide? I mean, you should be proud to be gay. And you shouldn't care about about being seen or being photographed. Being photographed. Yeah, people filming you and taking a picture of you. You shouldn't care. You should be proud. You shouldn't care at all. So, you know, I find that to be kind of odd. And on video number two, um, there was, okay, there was this guy who was, 
at some rape culture um, festival with a bunch of women in Montreal. And the guy was filming the whole thing and he heard some woman's voice saying this. Why are you recording us? And the guy said, it's a free country. And some old lady starts like hitting the guy's camera and, and saying this. You need to get the fuck away from us. Then I heard some singing going on. And after that, some woman gets on top of a table at some park somewhere in Montreal and start preaching about rape culture. Then in a, another video, um, <clears throat> somewhere in some city in, in, in Alberta, Sag Hill, Alberta, a black guy is walking around Walmart and he's going and he's doing his shopping. Um, he's going and buying some things that he needs. He goes to the electronics department to get some headphones. And all of a sudden, some some ugly old white woman who was who was the store security goes and follows the guy around, follows him around. And he pulls out his camera, his camera phone, the camera option on his smartphone, pulls out his smartphone and starts filming this lady, following him around. And he I think I can quote what that what he was saying was a black guy and um he's filming this lady following him around walmart and he's saying this i can't i mean i can't believe this i can't expect some shit like that i live in canada i can expect some shit like this let me shop let me shop and the woman said, and the, the security woman says this, no yelling in the store, no yelling in the store. He says, shut up. Let me shop. You guys need to come get her. I feel uncomfortable. I mean, you looking at me like that, like, I just, I just want to go shop, shop, for, shop for some more things. Because I couldn't find what I want, so I, I decided to go shop for some more things or something like that. And he had his camera phone on. He said, I'm I'm putting you on Facebook. You're going live, eh? You're going live, eh? I mean, you have to look at some black guy with some dreads. I live in Canada. I can expect some shit like this. Then finally, some other employees stopped the woman from following the guy around. And the guy said this after all of this. Don't follow me around. Don't follow me. Don't do that. Don't ever, ever do that. Well, it's the fact that um, this Walmart in somewhere in Alberta, Sag Hill, Alberta, was uh, I guess was hit hard by thieves. And the store, and the store security woman, thinks that this black guy was was one of the thieves. <clears throat> so that's some racial profiling right there. That's racism right there. So. Yeah. So all this so it seems to me <laughs> that Canada is a is a crappy country. And it is. I mean, a black guy with dreads shopping at a Walmart. He, and I mean, he probably and he has some money in his pocket. <clears throat> he has toonies and loonies, nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes. He has colorful pieces of paper with a queen, a black woman, and dead prime ministers on them. He has money on him to buy wherever he wants at this Walmart in Sag Hill. Alberta. And he does. I mean, he should have pulled all that money out of his pocket and show this woman, hey, I got some money in my pocket. I'm I'm, I'm here to buy some things. <laughs> so yeah, um, I guess, you know, I guess that wouldn't phase that woman who was like who was racially profiling him or ethnic carding him. 
So, yeah. Okay, in Toronto, also in this city, on another video. <clears throat> clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat. I think I got a frog in my throat and some flame. Anyway, on a video, another video, we're going back to Toronto and Ontario. Okay, um, there was this male, there was this male seminar at the University of Toronto, and it was interrupted by a bunch of crazy feminist women. And and the, and they were making noises like this. MRA boom boom MRA boom boom MRA boom boom MRA boom boom MRA boom boom. Then the camera goes off of the uh, male seminar and goes to goes and shows all these crazy women. And among the group of crazy women were um, Shanty Biggs, uh, the <clears throat> the the woman who wore glasses and has the bright red hair. Then a f then a fire alarm was pulled and they started jumping up and down and cheering. I think also I, s I saw a video from there was this YouTube channel there was this channel here on YouTube it was named um, Exposed Toronto. <coughs> And um, <clears throat> and there was this guy from South America. He's from French Guyana. And um, French Guyana, a uh, country in South America. Uh, he was filming parts of Toronto. And he saw that like everything was hospital, uh, a school. Everything was catered to women, and nothing was catered to men. And he was the same guy that was harassed by a news reporter and a cameraman at Queens Park. He was going around just filming, a, filming everything. He was filming a banner that said consent. And <clears throat> some ugly um, female news, rep some ugly news reporter woman or news presenter and some cameraman, some white guy with, with curly hair. And another cameraman, like they were, all, they were all harassing this guy, and they were calling him creepy and weird, and they were bringing up Rouge V. Do you know Rouge V? And if we see this video that you are filming, that you posted on your YouTube channel, we're gonna have it removed off of YouTube. <clears throat> and the poor guy was being harassed and picked on, and the police came and accused him of harassing those people. And the police just ignored the guy and just ignored the guy who's saying it. Nobody, I mean, they were messing with me. And he just walked away. The police just says something and just walked away. So, I don't know if Toronto is still messed up today. I don't know. But, you know, that tells me um, I definitely don't want to go to Toronto or any part of Canada, period. MRA, boom, boom, MRA, boom, boom, MRA, boom, boom, MRA, boom, boom, MRA, boom, boom. Wow, that's spicy. That is so spicy. So spicy. If that's any of your business, that's none of your business. I came here to relax. I don't want to be bothered. Why do you care? It's none of your business. Don't worry about it. We're ever we're advocating for civil war. We got the guns and we're gonna bring them out. Get to the point. Nobody doesn't want to see your stupid little car. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In some ways, um, Canada can be a three can be a crazy cartoonish three ring circus. Well, look at this way. Even though some things in Canada sucks, 
Well, at least they have um, universal health care, gun control, and a very high life expectancy. Their life expectancy is very high because they have prevention in their health care. And, and Canadians live longer than Americans. So Americans have shorter lifespans and Canadians have longer lifespans. So, to each its own. So, that's just fact. I'll visit, I'll take a trip to Canada. But I'm not going to live there, so. It is what it is. So, that's all I got to say in this video. Au revoir.